I'm going to be flipping this dresser using only products that my Instagram followers voted on. So stick around because you are not going to believe what it looks like after. This dresser is a blank canvas, so I knew it would be a great candidate for my followers to give a makeover to. I put several polls on my Instagram story, so make sure you're following me over there so you don't miss out on the next one. I got this dresser on Facebook Marketplace for $50. These tall, slim dressers are really versatile, so they sell really well for me. This dresser is solid wood. I'm pretty sure it's pine, but I could definitely be wrong. This dresser was in near perfect condition besides the top drawer. It was a little bit hard to pull in and out. Before I do anything else, I'm going to be removing the hardware. I won't be reusing this hardware on this dresser, so I'll add it to my other stash. Am I the only one who does not like using a drill to remove hardware? I own like two or three drills, but I always find myself using a regular screwdriver to remove it. It takes like 10 times longer, but I don't know, I just can't get myself to use a drill. After giving the piece a good cleaning off camera, I started to scuff sand it. I always recommend scuff sanding your piece before painting, especially if your surface is smooth and shiny like this one. This gives the paint some teeth to grip onto and adhere correctly. My kids were outside playing with my husband while I was working, and I had a little visitor come in my shop. She came to tell me that she fell and hit her hands on the ground, and it was the sweetest thing. Moments like that make me so thankful for my job. Being able to work in the garage while my kids are 10 feet away, it just warms my heart. Even though I gave the piece a really thorough scuff sand, I could tell that it was just still too smooth. So I decided to apply a clear bonding primer just to be safe. I swear by this bonding primer, it works so well. It just adds a little bit of texture to your surface so that your paint can adhere to it. The first poll I put up on Instagram was for the paint color. I was really excited when I saw you guys chose Restoration Bronze. It's one of my favorite colors and I haven't used it in a long time. And then also you guys chose to fully paint it. Isn't this color just gorgeous? I can't get over it. I love Melange paints. I use it a lot. I'm an affiliate for them and I get asked quite often how durable it is. So I wanted to share a little story. This dresser ended up tipping over from the high wind and there were no scratches on it. It was in perfect condition. So if you're looking for a durable paint, Melange paints is definitely it. The next Instagram poll I put up was for using wood veneer or floral stencil on the drawer fronts. This poll was a lot closer, but you guys chose wood veneer, which I was super excited about. I have the perfect idea for it. I got this veneer banding on Amazon. I believe it was like $40 for 250 feet of it. This veneer was in the best condition, but it worked. I don't know if I recommend it though. My idea was to cover the whole drawer front in these wood veneer pieces. So I cut them all up. I cut hundreds of them and ironed them on. While this was definitely an easy process and I would totally do it again, it does take a lot of time. So just be prepared. I probably took about 20 to 30 minutes for each drawer. <laughs> This is the part of the project that I was most excited about. My friend Jenna from Touch of Townsend on Instagram just posted a reel about how she made this DIY hardware and it is incredible. I'll link her tutorial down below, definitely check it out. But basically she took this Hobby Lobby hardware, deconstructed it and made her own pulse. I did get these 50% off so they were like $6 each.
Once the pieces were all deconstructed, I went in with my favorite spray paint, Champagne Mist, and covered them all. Just like Jenna recommended in her Instagram reel, I got these 5 8 inch dowels and cut them 16 inches wide. In order to add the new hardware, I had to drill through the wood veneer strips and so I drilled through the existing holes. I wanted to add some color to the wood veneer. I didn't love the bare wood look, and so I'm using this wooden barrel smoky gel stain from Lily Moon Paint to add some color. Let's take one final look at the before. I can't believe this is what it started out looking like, and here it is now. I'm so excited about how this turned out. It is by far my favorite piece that I've ever done. And it's funny because you guys chose what it looked like. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you next time.